Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Fishing with James. Today we have another mystery tackle box challenge, but this one is very, very special. This mystery tackle box challenge marks the one year anniversary that I started working with Catchco and Mystery Tackle Box. So this one means a lot to me. So we're gonna go ahead and change it up a little bit. Today I've downloaded a roulette wheel app and I'm gonna be putting all the baits that are in this Mystery Tackle Box in the app and it's gonna choose the order that I have to fish these baits today. And it is very, very windy outside today. So if we get like a top water bait in there and I've gotta throw it first, I might be in trouble. So we're gonna go ahead and head out to the pond and we'll get this challenge underway. Okay, so I just got to the pond and it is windy, so windy that I'm probably gonna go ahead and just do the unboxing here in the back of the car because vlog footage today is going to be next to impossible. I would prefer it not to be just wind the whole way through. So I'm gonna do my best to alleviate that by doing a lot of the stuff up here at the car and then we'll get down there and start fishing. Before we get into this mystery tackle box and see what's inside, I wanna tell you a little bit about it. Each month you get a box just like this full of a random assortment of lures and you get to save up to 40% off the retail prices of the lures in this box. The way I look at it, it's like Christmas every month. I get back home, I see this sitting up on the front doorstep, and I'm just ready to go fish. So if you watch this video and you're interested in getting in the Mystery Tackle Box, make sure to use my code JHMiller to get your first ever box for as low as $10. So with all that out of the way, let's go ahead and crack in and see what we got in the April Mystery Tackle Box. All right, opening it up. Let's see, first thing I see is a Guggen Squad blooper. I've been wanting one of these for a while and this is a pretty interesting color. It's like a black and green. So this will be pretty good. We've got some Somatis craws, it looks like. There's some like watermelon candy craws. We have some Biospawn plasma tails. These will be really good and I think they put in some hard hat round ball shaky heads. So these two will pair up perfectly together. Uh, let's see, we've got a Catchco sticker. This will be pretty cool. I have to like throw it on the back of the car somewhere, but we have the Dibble Tips and Tricks. You open this booklet up and it shows you a bunch of different tips about fishing that you might not have known before. We've got an Excite Baits Reflex Swim Jig, it looks like. Uh, that'll be nice to throw out on grass. Then we've got a blooper card. It shows you where to throw the blooper in case you've never fished like a popper before. It'll show you where to fish it. And then we've got a what's inside card showing you what is inside your mystery tackle box. And finally, we have a Weston Bass Bite Square Bill. The colors on this thing are incredible. I can't wait to get this out and fish it. So that's what all I got in my mystery tackle box. Let's go ahead and head down there and start fishing. All right, so as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, I downloaded this roulette app. I'm gonna go and spin the wheel and see what the first bait I'm gonna get is gonna be. All right, here we go. Let's see what we got. Okay, we got the reflex swim jig. I can work with that. All right, that's what we're gonna start out today's challenge with. So here's the swim jig I'm gonna be using today. So we're gonna go ahead and just tie this on, just a traditional quench knot. And as for a trailer, I brought this bag. Uh, they've got some little trailers in here, like some little split tail trailers. So we're gonna go and take it, thread it on. But there we go, now we got a little split tail on the back for a trailer. Let's start fishing. So I'm gonna be putting the swim jig, there's this grass line right out this way. So I got a new line on this Corrado DC, and so this might be a hassle. <laughs> because whenever you first spool it up, the backlashes go to the freaking bottom of the spool. All right, we're gonna go and reel this all back up. I hope there is not a fish chewing on this swim jig right now. I got one. Is this a fish? Yeah, it is. I feel him head shaking. This is a big fish. I had a huge backlash, lifted up, and Buddy just had it. Not a bad fish at all. Oh my gosh, this is a good fish. Look at that. And that, that's what we're talking about, man. That is two mystery tackle box challenges in a row. The very first cast, I just absolutely slam a solid fish. We'll take that. We're going to get him back in the water. Thank you, buddy, man. That was, that was cool. Well, that didn't take long at all. That was like literally the first cast, got a backlash and then drilled it up, felt some weight. And I'm like, there's no way set the hook and it's a solid three pound bass so we're gonna go ahead and draw up the second bait i sure hope it's the bottom base because i can go and get those knocked out easily right now but if i draw the popper i might have to walk around for a minute because the sun's still pretty high up i don't know if they're gonna eat top water this early but we're gonna go ahead and see what happens and uh, let's go and draw the second bait all right here we go let's see what we get Barely, I got the Somatis Craws. Good, I'll go and throw those on the Texas rig and uh, we'll get those out there on that grass line as well. We're gonna take these Somatis Baits Craws and these things are really cool. They have like really huge claws on them. Like I'll show you. Take a look at the size of these claws 
on this craw. It's kind of like a tube style body, and then it goes down to a craw. So we're just gonna do a traditional Texas rig on this thing. Three eight ounce bullet weight, and then a three aught EWG hook, just like that. And we've got a beautiful Texas rig craw. And the thing is, even with the three eight ounce bullet weight, those claws are so big that they slow it down on the way to the bottom. So if they're suspended a little bit, they still might can grab it before it even hits the bottom. This is the same as the last challenge. Since there's weather coming, I'm not gonna be able to go over to the other side of the pond today. I just don't wanna get stuck over there and have like a lightning storm. There's one. I just about threw my GoPro off on the hook set. <laughs> I, I really did. I That's probably the hardest hook set I've had in a long time. Look at him go and swing him up. Not a bad fish, another probably about two pounds or so. Not a bad fish at all. And I'm talking, he was barely hooked. All right, there we go. Another two or so pounder on the Somatis Craw. Good stuff. Now that we've knocked this off, I'm gonna go ahead and throw the shaky head plasma tail. Well, actually, no, I'm not. I take that back. Oh my gosh, I forgot we're doing the, the wheel. That's the one thing I'm forgetting. I can't just say, oh, I'm just gonna throw that. No, I can't. If the wheel picks it for me, good stuff but if i get you know something else i'm not gonna be able to throw what i want to but that's what makes this fun that the challenge aspect of it that, that's why i like doing these so we're gonna go ahead and spin the wheel again see what we get next all right here we go spinning the wheel see what we get uh-oh still going still going oh my gosh come on okay i got the shaky head anyway okay all right we'll take that so I've been getting super lucky with these spins. We've got the hard hat shaky head and we've got the biospawn plasma tail worm. We're just gonna go ahead and take it, screw it on. Didn't get a good screw on there. I kind of messed that up, but it won't be the end of the world. We're looking for one fish today. I'm gonna go and simply take the worm, push it up, put the hook down in it, make sure that barb's covered in there. And now we've got the plasma tail. And I must say, I really like the amount of black flakes that they've added in this. It's really, like, I really do like that. With other baits, there aren't that many, but there are a ton of black flakes in there, and I, I really like that. Oh, man, there's, like, a tree. I just knocked a tree. Okay, I gotta take note of where that is. I'm just gonna sit it there now. I'm not even gonna move it. I'm just gonna put a little bit of action in the rod and leave it as close to that tree as I can. It's either a tree or like a bunch of uh, limbs or something. And then right after it, there's just a huge pile of grass that is dried it into. I mean, this is what I'm throwing in. Right here, just grass. There's that tree, I'm in it. There he is. I felt that tree that time. There's another tree out there. There's a bunch of trees out there. I never realized until literally just today. There he is. It's a little baby. Little baby. But I mean, he was still out there and he was ready to bite. I felt the tree and I just literally popped it over the tree and he was there. So at this point, I know it's really windy in the audio, but we're, we're starting to get some clouds coming in here. So I'm trying to, trying to expedite this as much as I can. Yeah, we're gonna go and spin the we're gonna go and spin the wheel again, and hopefully we get the crankbait. If we get the popper, it won't be the end of the world. But uh, it's just so windy today. But we're gonna keep moving on because I'm not liking staying out here for all this uh, weather comes through. That might make it a little bit. Now this is a floating bait. That might make it a little bit easier. Well, if I get a bite, it's gonna be a top water bite at this rate because the spool got all messed up. There's one. That was awesome. Literally, this fish was sitting up underneath this crankbait waiting because the second that I started reeling it, he ate it. So he was just watching it. Not even a giant fish, but he's really fighting. Get up here. Really healthy. Wow. Look at that fish. Oh my gosh, he's feisty. Healthy little, little bugger. All right, see you later. And that means it's time to tie on the popper. No more wheel spinning or anything like that. We got one more bait to knock off today and then we are good. All right, so now we got the Guggen Squad blooper. This is my first time throwing the uh, the blooper. So obviously you can pop it kind of like a popper, but you can also, you can walk this thing really, really well. That's a fish. 
What is this? This is a bass, right? Yeah, yeah, it's a bass. Look at that. Getting ready to shake on me. Smallest little bass just sitting here, just waiting patiently. I mean, freaking tiny fish, but we'll take him. Well, that'll do it. We just knocked off all the baits out here, roulette style. That's the best way to do it right there. You don't have a choice. You just throw what you were told to throw. Alrighty guys. So I think that's gonna be the end of today's video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so that you don't miss any future videos. And again, if you're interested in Mystery Tackle Box, make sure to use my code JHMiller to get your first box ever for as low as $10. So again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys on the next episode of Fishing with James.